today we're going to draw Snoopy and his Christmas tree. So we're going to start out by drawing the Christmas tree and what we're going to do is start out by drawing the blanket that goes on Snoopy's Christmas tree. So I'm going to go really towards the bottom of my page and what I'm going to do is start out by just drawing in the right half of the page just some kind of fluffy lines like so. And I'm going to draw another fluffy line underneath that and then go around and draw one final fluffy line at the bottom. Now what I can do here is go in and add a few little wrinkles if I want where I have some of the bumps in there because that's Linus's blanket. Kind of uh, made the tree warm, caused it to grow. So beneath that, what we're gonna do is draw the little base of the tree. And so what I'm gonna do is go right here and draw a straight line that way. Go back up towards the blanket, straight line back to meet it. And then over here, about halfway up, straight line out that way, at an angle, and back the direction it came. And what I'm going to do is make this look like it has a little bit of dimension by going in off of this first block and putting three little lines straight down. What I'm going to do then is connect those lines. So we've got a three-dimensional rectangle right there. And the same here, only I only need two lines because we've got one, two, the third is already made. So we're gonna connect those, connect those. Okay, so the rest of them they would go out further but they're covered by the blanket. So what we're gonna do is go above the blanket here and I'm going to start out by drawing my tree shape and the tree can be kind of a, a jagged shape. So I'm gonna go up a little bit and then I'm gonna go out and make a branch off of it. And go out, come back, and my lines are jagged. I don't really have a plan with them. But we're gonna keep going up. A little bit more jagged lines. Here's maybe a good spot to put a branch going out. Bring it out again, come back like so, and my branches, they're not very straight, they're, they're all kind of wobbly. Just gonna go up one more time, go up there, and then we're gonna go off here, make a branch, goes up this direction, comes back, and that's gonna be all for that side of the tree. So we're gonna go to the other side of the tree. Go down to the blanket and draw some little jagged lines up. Draw a little line that comes out like this, jagged line to form a branch, come back, only instead of coming all the way back to the tree, I'm going to stop right there, about part way up. And then what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is go up and make a branch off of that little branch. Bring it down, come back, and then come back to my tree. So then keep on going up, and what I'm gonna do is only just have one more branch here. So I'm gonna go all the way up to the top of my tree and make one branch that finishes out, come back down like so. So we've got our general shape of our tree in place at this point. Okay, so we're gonna go in and we're going to add the leaves on the Charlie Brown tree. And the Charlie Brown tree's leaves aren't real firm or defined so we're just going to kind of scratch and it doesn't have a lot of them in there we're going to just going to kind of scratch in some squiggles on there because the tree didn't look like it had a lot of a lot of uh, life a lot of vigor so it can be pretty bare in there where we add the leaves
you can make as many or as few of them as you want. But then from there, what I'm gonna do on a few branches is just put a little line down, a little square at the end of that line, and a little round circle to look like a Christmas ornament. And I'm going to add about three of those on my tree. So he's just getting started decorating it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is go in and begin to draw Snoopy himself. So what we're going to do is start off by drawing his nose. So I'm going to draw kind of a little bit of a oval right there, maybe a little flatter on this end. And then I'm going to leave a spot right here to look white for a highlight. And so with Snoopy, Snoopy's nose and ears are not colored in solid black. They're kind of scribbly, but they leave a lot of space in there. So we didn't fill it completely solid in right there. Okay, so the one I want to do is go from the, the top of the nose right here. I want to draw his, his, his snout. Kind of go up in a big curve like so. And this is going to take some practice. If you've not done Snoopy before, this can be too big or too small, but you'll be able to tell that you intended to draw Snoopy. You meant to draw Snoopy. This is your interpretation of Snoopy. I'm just going to go down the same way, almost where it looks like a long circle that has been cut in half. So what we're going to do is right here, just go up, curve it up just a little bit. I'm going to put a small little curve right there for his eye. And then what I'm going to do is go right above that curve and I'm going to draw a curve line down. This is going to be a stocking cap that Snoopy has on. And I'm going to make it just a little bit longer than his, his head. In fact, I need to go in right here on the bottom of his snout bring it on around so it looks like he has the start of his neck. So the neck and the hat are going to be even. So to help us block in his head a little bit more, we're going to put a little rectangle right there to be his collar. So then what we're going to do is go back up here to the eye. We're going to draw in his ear. Big looping curve that comes back and touches his hat. Now Snoopy's ear is covered up by his hat quite a bit. So let's go in there and let's color in what we have there. Black and again we can kind of scribble this because Snoopy's ear was not solid black. It looked like it was scribbled in a bit. So let's go in and add a little brim on Snoopy's hat by making a line that comes out goes up, makes a little kind of squished rectangle right there. So what we're going to do right here at the brim, we're going to kind of bring a squiggly line down for the top of Snoopy's cap. We're going to go back up to the top, bring it over, again squiggly lines the whole way. Because Snoopy's hat, it's not, it's not completely smooth. Bring it down there, we're not going to close it off. What we're going to do instead is make like a bunch of flower petals down there. Okay, and then we can, we're gonna put a lot of lines in there to look like stripes for Snoopy's hat. We're not gonna go in and draw the wrinkles, but we're just going to put in a lot of stripes. So you can make them as straight or squiggly as you want them to be. We need to put a one line right here, connect Snoopy's ear and his collar right there. So then what we're going to do from there, we're going to start from the collar and I'm going to draw a curve line out a little bit more curvy at the bottom. That's Snoopy's belly. We're going to bring it on around like so until it's really just even with his neck right there. Gonna start back up there from the neck and go bring another one down. This one's much more straight. We're going to bring it down a little bit. We're going to stop above where we have his belly so it's not lined up. See, I left some space there. And then what we're going to do is draw his paw in there. So we're going to kind of hook it over there, bring it around in a curve, and I connect it right there with his belly, and then keep bringing it on around 
end it right there. Okay, next thing we want to do is draw in Snoopy's legs and feet. So we're going to go right here beneath his, his hand, put a line that goes down, another line that goes down right there. I'm going to go to the back of the leg here. Basically going to draw a flattened oval here. Go around, about as wide as his belly there. Come back around, connect to the leg, and then go a little bit further. Same thing with the other one. We're going to put a line down. This one we're going to start from the top. Bring it around, come down, and meet the front foot. So, you can't see all of that one because it's behind this front foot. So go in there, put a couple of lines for his toes. One more thing we're going to put on Snoopy here. We're going to put in his tail here. So let's go right here where we have his, where we have his hand. We're going to just draw a little curve coming around like so, and then sharp corner, come back, and then we're gonna fill in just a little bit of dark right there. Okay, so there's a quick little Snoopy drawing of a, of a Snoopy and his Christmas tree as he's just getting started decorating it. Why don't you go ahead and sign your name somewhere? You can always send me uh, what you've drawn, just tag uh, Brian May's art on Facebook or Instagram and I'll get to see it. Thanks for drawing and hope I can see you for the next one. Thanks for drawing with me today. You can subscribe to my newsletter to get more art fun. Just go to brianmaysart.com slash newsletter and I'd love to see what you drew. Share it on Facebook or Instagram and be sure to tag Brian May's art so I can find it. See you next time.